ReasonConf is brought to you by our gold sponsors, Ahrefs and Chain Street. I work on Brisk uh, and a little bit on Ravelry. You might know me from my work on BS React Native. Um, I started this, this thing and uh, thankfully now Christopher and Mux, who's not here, uh, took, uh, took over it. So when I talk about native UIs, I mean native as in native object files. So when you compile a C program, you get a native one, native executable. It might have some dependencies like uh, system dynamic libraries or something else, but it's one uh, executable. It's usually very fast. Um, and that's also possible with OCaml and Reason. OCaml has many, many com uh, compilation targets. It's, it's used for a lot of different things. Uh, you can run it on Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android, different, many different things. Even um, there's no work to do Mirage, uh, which, which also runs on many different things. And um, Brisk and Reverie, they have one uh, core. And this core is called Brisk Reconciler. Uh, Brisk Reconciler is like React.js kind of thing. So you get this JSX uh, stuff, which, which is, describes the UI. And it produces um, imperative calls like that. So you have a text view, you set its style, uh, you add the uh, a subview to the view, right? We have a view and a text as a subview, and it translates uh, this kind of thing into imperative calls. And um, if you make a change, like you change the font size from 13 to 14, the reconciler is re responsible for figuring out what, what's changed and to do the minimal uh, set of changes. And um, the interesting thing is that Brisk and Reverie, they share one, uh, the, the same reconciler, even though they, they do a little bit different things. So Brisk uses platform widgets like Coco on macOS or um, a UIKit on iOS, and Reverie uses um, drawing libraries like OpenGL. So the gray um, boxes here represent stuff that's different between um, Brisk apps and Reverie apps. But the blue stuff represents stuff that's common. And what's interesting is that if you write an app in Reverie or Brisk, you can share business logic between it, just like with React and React Native. So um, React Native developers can leverage a lot of, a lot of things that have, uh, that have been built for React out of the box, right? And the same applies to React and uh, to Reverie and Brisk. But Reverie uses OpenGL and Skia for the drawing, which has different drawbacks, different challenges. And um, just like before, the, just the gray boxes changed and the blue ones are, are the same. They can be shared between them. The interesting thing about uh, what we're doing uh, with Brisk and Reverie and with Brisk Reconciler is that you can have multiple reconcilers in one app. So, Traditionally, with React apps, you use React for the view layout, uh, for like putting views together. But when you have navigation or or some more imperative st stuff like uh, menus, you use imperative APIs. With uh, Brisk and Reverie, we um, we can leverage the reconciler to do diff uh, many different things, like the again. Uh, gray boxes are different between Reverie and Brisk, and the blue boxes uh, can be shared. So we have a navigation reconciler, uh, toolbar reconciler, and segmented control reconciler, which uh, would you would normally control with imperative calls, and here uh, you can have a declarative like this. So we have a screen, and if there's a selected story, we push another screen, but it happens behind the scenes. There's a reconciler behind it. How it works? Uh, it converts uh, the, this switch sort of, you could say, converts the, the, declar the declaration that you can see here into this, uh, those imperative calls. So if there was a previous story and the, there's a current story, you just, set the, you just set the story on the current screen. Uh, if there's no next story, you pop. If there's another story, you push. 
And um, if you have experience with React Native navigation story, it's really messy, um, at least in my opinion, because uh, uh, the, the APIs are super, are, are super uh, imperative and they are a little bit weird. And um, it's also, I don't have a slide for it, but what's interesting about it is that when you write React, React code, you express a tree of views. And, uh, but when you think about it, your application is more like a graph. So when you have a navigation and you go from one screen to another, um, you don't nest another view, you go to a sibling, right? And uh, you can express this with nested reconcilers. Like you have navigation, which is this uh, thing that manages going between the siblings, and you have the content, uh, content reconcilers, which uh, manage the, the views themselves. Uh, you can see uh, Brisk in Brisk ML slash Brisk repo and Reverie uh, in Reverie UI slash Reverie repo. Um, why should you care about it? Um, native, native programs are typically, not always, but typically faster. They pro usually provide better UX and we can figure out better abstractions if we start with OCaml or Reason uh, from the beginning. And that's all I have. Thank you.